Previously on Dungeons and Divisors, we saw that the goal to making damage dice better is to produce higher damage more consistently. This principle also explains an important rule that sometimes even the best of RPG players get wrong the critical hit. In D&D, scoring a critical hit is awesome because one, you get to score an automatic hit no matter how weak your character is, and two, you get to apply a multiplier to your damage roll, usually times two. But this is where the confusion comes in. The rules specify, although not always clearly, that you double the number of damage dice, not the damage that you roll. At first, this sounds like the worst of the two options, but remember the corollary to our rule. More smaller dice is better than fewer larger dice. Let's see how this corollary works out with the two interpretations of the critical hit rule by looking at more histograms. Suppose, for example, you're playing Pathfinder with a great club and you score a critical hit. Normally, this weapon rolls a 1d10 for damage. Multiplying the damage times 2 sounds pretty good. The range on your histogram goes from 1 to 10 to 2 to 20, but maintains its flat shape. It's definitely producing higher damage, but not as consistently as you might like. On the other hand, if we follow rules as written, we would double the number of dice and roll 2d10, which produces a histogram with the same range of damage, but a more concentrated peak, making it more consistent, meaning your critical hit is less likely to result in a measly two points of damage. Let's take another example, the Pathfinder Falchion, which ordinarily deals 2d4 damage. Under the mistaken interpretation of multiplying the damage, your critical hit would roll anywhere from 4 to 16 points of damage in the following histogram. But notice that it's the exact same shape as the histogram for 2d4, just with the damage possibilities doubled. It's definitely producing higher damage, but again, not as consistently as you would like. On the other hand, if we follow rules as written, we would double the number of dice and roll 4d4, which produces a histogram with the same range of damage, but a more concentrated peak making it more consistent. So, when looking at those critical multipliers and thinking of all the glorious damage you're going to do, remember, multiplying the dice means more consistency in the pain that you bring to the world. And that's something every RPG player wants. Hello, and thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to investigate other dice combinations, you can do so using the Python code available in the description below, which also includes an introductory video about how this code was made. If you find an interesting or unexpected result, please leave a comment below or tweet us at Let's Code Physics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.